everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name's Kelly. I blog at Kelly Lee Creates where I teach lettering and digital design. Today I have a fun tutorial for you. We're going to learn all about how to make stickers with Silhouette Studio. So this is what we're going to be making today, this Choose Joy sticker. Um, so you're going to need the SVG file, which I have right here, and I will link to that below. You're going to need your um, Silhouette Cameo or Silhouette Portrait. Uh, you're going to need an uh, you're going to need an inkjet printer and some white matte sticker paper. So this tutorial is going to go over how to set up the file in Silhouette Studio to print and then to cut. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're in Silhouette Studio, and I just want to note that I am using the Designer Edition. And in order to open SVG files in Silhouette Studio, you need the Designer Edition or above. So uh, Designer is one step above the Basic Edition. The Basic is the free version that comes with Silhouette Studio um, in order to uh, upload SVG files, you need to upgrade to the Designer Edition. So open up Silhouette Studio, and as a default, you know you get this 12 by 12 canvas. Um, we want to change that because we're using Print and Cut, and most printers are print at 8.5 by 11. It's very easy to change the canvas size up here in the right, in the page setup. Just go to Media Size and the drop down and choose letter. And then you can see that it changes to eight and a half by 11. So the second thing that we want to do is to um, insert registration marks. And this is what's going to line up everything when we print it and then send it to cut. So again, in the page setup, this little um, icon right here is the registration marks and just toggle them on and you can see the marks come up. There's a box right here and two lines right here and also some hatched areas. And I will tell you what that is all about in a minute. So you have it set to eight and a half by 11. You have your registration marks turned on and now you want to, or now you need to choose um, an SVG file. Okay, so next you want to open up whatever SVG file that you are going to use to print your stickers. So in order to open an SVG file, you come up here to File, Open, and you can also use Command O or Control O on a PC. And navigate to the file that you want to use. I'm using this one that I've created called Choose Joy. So just select your file and hit open. And you may need to size it down a little bit. You can see mine is pretty big. So I'm just going to select everything and size it down. And so my sticker, I have this at about, let's see, what was this? At about 1.6 by 1.8. So by like about two by one and a half. You can size your sticker to whatever size that you want. I'm gonna leave it at this just as this example. And I see that I lost my registration marks. So not sure how that happened, but I will go and turn them on again. Okay, so when you upload your SVG file, you have to make sure that it is not touching the um, uh, hash marks here. And also it has to be inside the red lines. So I'm just gonna size it a little bit smaller just so we can get a good amount on the page. Okay. So here's my SVG file that I'm going to turn into a sticker. And I want, I don't want this to be black and white. I want it to be pink. So I'm going to select everything and come over here to the color palette, the fill panel. And I'm just going to choose this bright pink. And if you click on it, it'll turn your SVG file pink. 
Okay, so now that you have your SVG file, the color that you want, uh, we're going to add an offset. Okay, so now I'm going to create an offset by coming over here to the offset panel. It's the uh, star icon right here. And make sure your SVG file is selected and then just click on this offset selected shape right here. And when you do that, you can see that there's a border that is placed around your SVG file. Now you can mess with the offset distance right here. Uh, the default is 0.125 of an inch, but if you want that offset distance uh, greater or less, you can mess with it here with these little arrows, and then you can see that the offset increases and decreases depending on what you set right here. So I'm happy with that, and I'm just going to hit apply. But now you can see that there are a few little spots in here that I want to get rid of. So if I just click and move, click and drag my file to the right, I can go ahead and delete these little pieces in here. In order to do that, I have to go up to Object and Release Compound Path. And now you can see that each one of these little um, offsets in here can be modified separately. So just click on each one and delete it. And then you have a perfect offset. Now I want this offset to be white. So I'm just going to click on it and come over here to the fill panel again and select white. And when we print this, we don't want the a uh, red line to print red. If you come up here to this drop down menu, you can choose either white or clear, and then you will not get that red line when you print. So that is pretty much the way I want my sticker to print. So I'm just going to move it to make sure that it is inside of the hash marks and the cut line. Okay, so here I have arranged all the stickers onto the sheet. Um, I had to modify them a little bit and I shrunk down the size a little bit to make sure I got as many on the sheet as I could. And just make sure that everything is within the hash marks and the red lines and the registration marks. So after you have your sheet set up, uh, now it's time to send to your printer. So you go up to here to file, print. And so this is how it's gonna send to your printer. And you can see that the red offset line is not going to print because we changed it to clear. Um, so it won't print, but we'll use it for cutting in the next step. So file, print, hit the print button right here and send it to your printer. Okay, so you've printed your stickers and now it's time to come back into Silhouette Studio and set your file up to cut. Now make sure that once you print your stickers, you do not mess around with uh, moving anything around on the page because everything is now printed out and you have to leave everything the same uh, in your file so it will cut correctly. So come over here to the send panel. Okay, so you want to make sure that your cut lines go around the outside of our white border that we set up. And in order to do that, all you have to do is come over here and make sure that the cut edge is selected. Because if you select cut, see it cut, it's going to cut everything. And we just want this outside to cut and not the inside. So make sure that cut edge is selected. And then you'll just get the outside cut. So cut edge selected. And then over here, 
make sure that it's set to cut and set your material. Now I have made a um, custom cut setting for my white matte sticker paper at a force of eight, or a force of four and a speed of eight. But Silhouette also has a default for sticker paper. Um, you can do clear sticker paper, glitter, glow in the dark, or white. And their default for white sticker paper is a force of 14 and a speed of eight. Um, but I found that that force is a little bit too much. Um, and it was cutting, uh, cutting almost all the way through the sticker paper, which isn't what I wanted. I wanted to get a kiss cut. Um, so that is why I created a special cut setting for my white mat sticker paper with a force of four. So after you have all that set up, you just come down here to the send panel or the send button and send it over to your silhouette. So after you send your file to the silhouette machine, it will cut out around those red lines and you will be left with this fun sticker. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. If you want more tutorials, make sure to visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.